Hi friends, welcome to day 14 of 100 Days, 100 Ways to Study Your Scriptures. I'm Marcy and thank you for joining me on my channel today. Uh, a great way to study your scriptures is just to listen to them. You can go on the LDS Library app and choose a scripture. You look at the icon on the bottom right corner, there's little earphones, push it and you can listen to your favorite scriptures. Um, I like listening sometimes when I'm going for a walk or just when I'm uh, just in my, just studying them uh, as I'm journaling. So it's a great way. I just wanna tell you about personal experience. Years ago, I was going to teach seminary in the fall and I was going to teach the Old Testament I had never read the Old Testament start to finish, so I thought I better do that, but it's super long. So instead of reading it, uh, I decided to listen to it. So I had tapes at the time. I put them in my car and I would listen to them as I was driving my kids around, which was quite a bit because I had teenagers at the time. And so I was able to, in two months, listen to the whole Old Testament. But there's a lot of questions when you start reading the Old Testament. Just it's just a different time and you don't understand references and culture and things. So I would drive and then I'd stop when I got home, write down all my questions, and then that's what I would study for the day. And so I just had, I just found a cute little example of something that I didn't understand. So I decided to just come home and do a little bit of study. You know, you can just look up uh, different commentaries and it's, or, First of all, look in the um, in the footnotes, then look in commentaries, and most of your questions get answered quite easily right away. So this is a story about Elisha, and he went up from thence unto Bethel. This is in 2 Kings chapter 2, verse 23. And as he was going up by the way, there came forth little children out of the city and mocked him and said unto him, Go up, thou bald head, go up, thou bald head. And he turned back and he looked on them and cursed them in the name of the Lord. And there came forth two she-bears out of the wood and tear forty and two children of them. Okay, what? What is happening here? So first of all, there's little children mocking the prophet saying, you're bald, you're bald. And he got so mad, he prayed and the Lord cursed them. And then some bears came and ate 42 children. Um, this is a little bit hard for me to understand what's going on here. So this is my old, my old standby, my tried and trues. These are my old blues, my seminary scriptures, love them. So I made some notes here. I'm going to share with you. So you can look up commentaries online or on LDS.org, which is probably definitely the best place to do it. Uh, so first of all, when it says there came forth little children, you just go into the uh, footnotes and actually the Hebrew word is youths, not little children. And it was a youth who was fit to go into battle. So we're not talking about little children. We're talking about strong, able-bodied men, young men who are mocking the prophet. That's not good, that's not good at all. So there's that part. So that was like one thing about it. And then where it says, he looked at them and cursed them in the name of the Lord, then there's a period. So that's the end of that thought. So period, and then something else happened to those kids. That some, they met up with some bears, and the bear ate 42 of them. So it's kind of a, a, a different kind of story that we might not see with our prophet today. And it sounds really strange, but when you just go through and do a little bit of study, you listen, write down your questions, go do a little bit of study, you'll get your questions answered. So anyway... Hope, hope that's helpful. Listen to your scriptures and I hope you have a great day studying your scriptures. See you tomorrow. Bye.